Welcome back to Mickey Care Beauty. I'm Mickey Carico and on my channel I love to talk about luxury skincare and beauty. And today I did a really quick look with Fido Surgeons' new Flash Fluorescent Shades. I ended up picking three of the four shades. The fourth one, which was really popular, sold out, but I'm going to um, hopefully buy that when it returns. So I ended up getting three of the four new colors. Astral Atmosphere, Crystal Constellation, and Starlight Symphony. And then if you want to see how I ended up putting these all three looks all these three eyeshadows on my eyes then keep watching but before we continue please consider subscribing and liking below and commenting and clicking the thumbs up button it helps out with engagement and you know that most people watching these videos actually are not subscribed so go ahead and what are you waiting for subscribe and let's get to it okay and this is what the swatches look like this bottom one is Crystal Constellation. Crystal Constellation. The middle one is Astral Atmosphere. It has like a more of a rose gold tint. And the one on the top is Starlight Symphony. Super pretty. And that's what it looks like with one swipe. And that is a second application. Super pretty. Ooh. That middle one is definitely my color. These kind of like peachy colors reminds me of the Tom Ford golden peach color, which I actually no longer use. It, it actually creases on me. I'm starting off my base with Phytosurgeon's Verdant Force Field. It is a great moisturizing base. I love it. It's great to start before makeup. This is the Clay de Peau Natural Radiant Foundation in BF50 Tan Buff. I love this formula. It's one of my favorite foundations. It was very natural with a radiant luminous finish. Next, I'm going in with the new Tom Ford Traceless Matte concealer in 3WO Latte and I ended up doing a review of this product and it actually after a while I did not like it. It just didn't cover enough of my dark circles over time and you can see I'm actually having to do two layers and it just didn't cover my dark circles but I could see for people who don't have dark circles this being a lovely product. And then going into Astral Atmosphere first and this is probably my favorite shade. It's more of a peachy, glittery color. And you can see how easily with a Fide brush that's wide enough, it can be kind of like a one and done kind of look. And I'm going here into a second layer. And I certainly just could just stop here and just kind of spreading it out because there is a peachy red pink underlay so the more I diffuse it you can use that as um, kind of a one and done really so I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges here and then I'm going next into crystal constellation and that's that more bronzy uh, deep bronzy taupe color and I'm using that in my outer lids in the V area just to deepen and give depth to the look. I really love this shade as well. It could be a one and done, but I, for the purposes of this video, I wanted to use all of the colors as much as possible for one eye look. But yes, again, certainly it could be a one and done. And then I'm going into the last color. I have Starlight Symphony. It's the lightest one that I have. It's kind of like this very light champagne gold color. And using that for my inner corner highlight and then also my brow bone. And I go back into Astral Atmosphere and use my finger for a more impactful application and putting that over the um, center of my mobile lid to make it pop. And it really adds shimmer. It's a beautiful look. And here's my finished eye look. 
And then I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup of my base with the Hermes bronzer, which I have a review of. I'll pin it up below, above and below. And using my Inoshige Sony G brush, it's one of my favorite bronzer brushes. And then going into Singe. This is also a great product of Fido Surgeons. They do cream blushers really beautifully. I really love this color. It's kind of a really intense kind of muted orange, but um, but it's diffused out. I love using it towards the back of my cheekbones because it's more of an intense color. And I really love to mix my Fido Surgeons blushes. And that's the color singe. And then I'm going into evaporate. It's kind of like this really cool tone, natural muted brownie pink color. You can see it's like very subtle, but I like to put that towards the front. It's such a beautiful color. Phyto Surgeons does really beautiful cream colors that look so good on so many different skin tones. And then here I'm finishing with Lisa Eldridge's luxuriously lucent lip color in Spirited Away. What I do like about this lipstick formula is that it's pigmented, but also pretty light and moisturizing. It's not, um, it's just pigmented enough in that there's some slip to it. And I really enjoy this lip formula. And then here's the final look. All right, that's it, beauty fam. My final thoughts are that these are really beautiful. These are really just uh, what we've been kind of waiting for. I love cool tones. So I think all these are pretty much cool tones, but in terms of shades, these are all really versatile shades that you can use every day. And they remind me a lot of the liquid lurks is from Lisa Eldridge. And what I do like about these is that these are super easy. They're not wet, so I can definitely just go ahead and use these in the car when I'm um, in transit. I think they're actually easier to put on than Lisa Eldridge. So they're not as shiny. These aren't as shimmery as like Tom Ford or Charlotte Tilbury, but I actually don't like that moussey kind of, um, what is it, that texture. I like it when it's a little bit more subdued and not as super blingy because I'm not looking to go have a look that looks like I'm going to the club or something like um, like a special event. During, I want to use these every day for when I'm running around or going to work. So um, these are kind of like everyday shades. They're not going to be as blingy as like an hourglass, I would say. But I mean, I think it's really pretty on the eyes. So what I'll do is I'll do a wear test to see how long these wear down and I'll put below how they wear. Um, but if it's based on the previous formulas of flash fluorescence, if I do prime down my lids, these last a good six to eight hours. I think the liquid lyrics is, I would say those last longer for me. So I actually end up using those for work because I have longer work days. But if it's just like on the vacation or like running around errands on the weekend and whatnot or a simple day. Um, I have no problem wearing these and these wear down like, you know, a good six to eight hours. And then some people actually find that it lasts longer for them. So I'm really happy with these purchases. And again, I'm happy to wait until um, the, the fourth shade comes um, online. I think it's more of a multi-chrome with like some pink and blue purple like underlay in it. I'm not sure, but um, that was the one that sold out right away. So I'll be picking that up when um, those come back online. Okay. As always, thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Just let me know that most people watching actually are not subscribed. So help me out by subscribing and then commenting and liking below. And as always, please be very kind to yourself and others and just be you. Bye beauty fam. Take good care.